everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Anjhar and welcome back to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we will walk through how to generalize and capture a Windows image in Azure. We can use the custom image to deploy additional VMs with the same configuration. Azure provides a wide range of pre-configured Windows VM images that can be used to quickly deploy and run Windows based applications and services in the cloud. This will be a simple two step process. First we will generalize the Windows VM and then we will capture its image. Before you begin, ensure that you have an active Azure subscription. If you don't have one, you can sign up for a free trial through the Azure portal. In the first step, we need to log into the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. Step 1. Generalize the Windows VM. Note that we have already created a Windows Server 2022 VM in Azure. Under Azure Services, click on Virtual Machines. This will open Virtual Machines page. Click on the VM name that you want to generalize and capture. Go to the Overview section and make sure it is running. In the Overview tab, locate and copy the public IP address. Open the Run menu, type MSTSC and press Enter. Paste the copied IP address and click on Connect. Enter the username and password you created for the virtual machine and then click OK. Wait until the RDP session is successfully established. For the custom image, we have installed the web server role and the Notepad++ application on this VM. Open File Explorer. Navigate to C drive Windows. Find the Panther folder. Let's delete the Panther folder. Right click on it and select Delete. Verify if CD DVD ROM is enabled. If it is disabled, the Windows VM will be stuck at out of box experience. Let's close File Explorer. Open Run menu. Type sysprep and press Enter. Sysprep is a Windows tool that generalizes the operating system by removing user specific data. Run the sysprep tool. Under System Cleanup Action, make sure Anti System Out of Box Experience is selected. Select Generalize option. Under Shutdown options, select Shutdown, then click OK to start the process. Sysprep is Generalize the Virtual Machine. This will take a few seconds. Once the generalization is done, the virtual machine will automatically shut down. Click on OK. Since the virtual machine is shut down, our remote desktop connection is closed. Go back to the Azure portal and check the VM status. Click on Refresh. Make sure that VM is in stopped state. Step 2. Capture Windows Image. Click on Capture and then select Image. Azure allows you to convert a standard virtual machine to a template. Choose the resource group you want to use or create a new one. We will be saving this image in the VM Labs resource group. To create the image in a gallery, select Yes, share it to a gallery as an image version. The Manage Image option is disabled because it isn't compatible with trusted launch virtual machines. If you want to delete the source VM after the image has been created, select this checkbox. This will delete this virtual machine after creating the image. This is not recommended. For gallery details, select the gallery or create a new gallery by selecting Create New. Select our existing Azure Compute Gallery. The Azure Compute Gallery supports two operating system states. Since we have already generalized the VM image, we will select the Generalized option. Scroll down to Target VM Image Definition and click on Create New. Enter a name for your VM image definition. In this example, I have given name WS2K22-SysPrep image. When ready, click OK to proceed. In the version details section, enter a version name of your choice. Since this is the first version of the image, we will use 1.0.0. If you want this version to be included when you specify latest for the image version, then leave exclude from latest unchecked. Next, we need to select an end of life date. This date can be used to track when older images need to be retired. 
since we are in test environment we are not going to specify and end of life date the lock option prevents image versions from being deleted across replicated regions it is enabled by default modify this setting as required under replication select default replica account and then select any additional regions where you would like your image replicated we will leave the settings as default click on review plus create wait for the validation to complete if the validation is successful we are ready to create the image in our case the validation was successful review your selections then click the create button to create the image wait for the deployment to complete this may take a few minutes first vm image definition will be created then after vm image version will be created this will take around 8 to 10 minutes to complete the deployment process we have successfully captured the image of the windows server 2022 vm and we have stored the captured image in azure compute gallery click on go to resource now that the image has been created you can use it to deploy new virtual machines or scale sets let's see how we can create a vm using the captured image step 3 creating a virtual machine using generalized image click on create vm this will start to create a virtual machine wizard fill in the basic details such as azure subscription resource group and virtual machine name in virtual machine name type ws2k22-vm01 for region select east us for availability options select no infrastructure redundancy required verify the image name this is the windows server image we just created choose a vm size from the list of available sizes since we are in a test environment we will select the checkbox for run with azure spot discount to save on cost next we need to set up administrator account credentials to access the vm first enter the name of administrator account make sure that your password is at least 12 characters long and also meets the complexity requirements with inbound port rules you define what traffic can access your vm from the internet for windows based vms rdp with tcp port 3389 is selected by default allowing you to connect to this vm using remote desktop select port 80 and 443 to access the web services click on review plus create button wait for the validation to complete if the validation passes successfully we are ready to create the virtual machine if the validation is failed then review the mandatory parameters that are not defined or required in our case the validation was successful review your selections before creating the vm if everything looks good click the create button to deploy a new windows vm in azure it can take anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes to deploy the virtual machine wait for the vm deployment to complete vm deployment has been completed successfully click the go to resources button to view the dashboard of our virtual machine we have successfully created a windows vm using the captured windows image in azure in the overview tab look at and copy the public ip address let's use remote desktop protocol to connect to our vm open the run menu type mstsc and press enter paste the copied ip address and click on connect enter the username and password you created for the virtual machine then click okay ignore the certificate warning and click yes to connect wait until the rdp session is successfully established let me again remind you that we have created this windows server 2022 vm using the captured image let's check if notepad++ is installed open run menu tap fvis.cpl and press enter we can confirm that notepad++ is already installed Let's wait for the server manager to load properly. We can confirm that IIS service is already installed. This means we have successfully created another VM with the same configuration using the captured image. That's all for this video on how to generalize a Windows VM in Azure and capture it as a custom image. 
We have also learned the steps to create a VM from a generalized image. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.